Hey y'all, I'm Tammy, and this is Amy, my youngest daughter, and the cameraman is Chris, and today we're making our chicken pot pie that's loved by everybody, and Amy's going to assist me today, and this recipe is in our first cookbook, so we're going to start today with our broth, so we're mixing up some chicken broth with some chicken bouillon granules, so Amy has heated three cups of water in the microwave. And now she's gonna add one tablespoon of chicken stock, or chicken bouillon, which adds salt to your recipe, by the way. This is what we're gonna make our gravy out of. We're gonna make a homemade gravy, and instead of using milk, we're using broth, okay? So she can take that on over to the oven, to the stove, because that's where we're gonna make our gravy. Okay, so now we're gonna open up, this is easy, a can of mixed vegetables. We're gonna open up two cans. Amy's gonna drain them and put the vegetables in a large bowl. The great thing about this chicken pot pie is you use refrigerated pie crusts. So we're gonna roll out one crust and put it in an iron skillet. I love using the iron skillet, it gets it nice and brown. You don't have to use the iron skillet, you can use something else. But we're gonna cook this at uh, 375 degrees. All right, Amy, you can unroll that and just lay it in the bottom of here. Like that. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just spray around the edges of the skillet. I got it. Now it'll be easy to clean. All right. The next step we're gonna do, we'll put that there and this here. I'm gonna bring this here. And this is a rotisserie chicken. Now you can boil a chicken and use the broth from the chicken. We didn't do that today. We're doing a shortcut and we're using rotisserie chicken. So I'm chopping the chicken up into smaller chunks. Same way you would do it for chicken salad. And I'm just running the knife through it. And then I'll go the other direction as well. Make sure they're nice and bite-sized. You just don't want a really big piece. Yeah, there's one make, and here's ooh, one. Mother, this hurt you. Here's one. Okay, so what you're gonna do now, is pick up your chicken and put it in your bowl. Keep dogging. Are these ones over here too big? Or no, they're good. Okay, it looks good. Amy did a good job. chicken. Yep. All right. Okay, we're just going to slide this out of the way because the only thing we got left to do is add some good old gravy in there. All right. Now we make our own gravy so we don't use cream of chicken soup. We make our own homemade gravy. So you're just going to melt the butter in there to make gravy. Daddy's going to come over to your left side because you're right-handed. And then we're going to move up everything over here because you're right-handed that you're going to need. Okay. So really all you're going to need salt. is pepper because this is going to have plenty of salt in it. That one's salt. This one's pepper. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Chris, our power short mailed. 
All right, the power went off. Thank the Lord it was before we made the gravy or not in the middle of the gravy. So this is the next day and we are making our chicken pot pie and Amy's gonna do the gravy. She's never done gravy, so I'm sure she can do it. All right, so I'm gonna start off by putting my butter in the pan and then I'm gonna add my shortening. This is four tablespoons of butter. And then this right here is a half a cup of shortening. Okay, and I'm gonna let that melt down. Okay, so I'm gonna take my whisk, I'm gonna let all this melt down. And then once it melts, I'm gonna add a half a cup of self-rising flour, which I already have over here in my sifter. I don't know if I should wait for it to like completely melt down. Should I do that? Yes, you should. Okay. So we're waiting on it to melt and then I'll add my flour. All right, so now I'm gonna add in my half a cup of flour. I'll sift it in there. And I already did a half a cup in here, so that's how much is in here right now. You already did a half a cup of what? Self-rising flour. In the sifter. In oh, the sifter. I see. Okay. I put it in there. All right. So now I'm going to whisk it around. And then I'm going to let the raw flour cook for a minute. And then I will add three cups of chicken broth and pepper. So I'm going to whisk that in there. Now, if we were making white milk gravy, we would be using milk, like if you were making it for biscuits, but because we're making this for chicken pot pie, we're gonna use chicken broth that we made with our bouillon. bouillon. And if you wanted to use half and half, you could. Either way, it's gonna be delicious. All right, so the gravy, has gotten a nice brown color, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our chicken broth. And this is three cups of chicken broth with one tablespoon of the chicken bouillon. Or three cups of water with a tablespoon of chicken bouillon. Ooh, it's already thick. Whips that in there. Ooh, it smells good. It's already ready. It is. That's fast. Okay, so we're going to pour this in over our vegetables and our chicken. So now we're going to stir our gravy into our veggies and chicken. We're going to be pouring all of our chicken pot pie mixture into our skillet with our pie crust. We're gonna level it around, make sure it's one flat layer. So it's kind of fragile around the edges. Uh-oh. It's already gotten too hot. So you would have to pick it up. I'll just do it, and then you can slit it. So you have to slide it under it like that because mm -hmm. it's already gotten so warm. warm. And then you just try to center it in here. And you let the sides of it go up the sides of the skillet. Okay, like that. And now you're going to take that knife and you're going to slit, 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 slit. It can breathe a little. Here we go. And then you just put it in the oven. Now we have two ovens. We can make two things at the same time we're making a cake too. The one on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to jar it because our cakes are up there cooking. So carefully put it in there. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna take our pot pie out of the oven. Uh, we like it really brown, so we turned up the temperature just a little bit and we let it get nice and brown. Woo. All right. There we go. And now, I'm gonna get a scoop of it out so that y'all can see how delicious it looks on the inside. All right, so now I'm gonna get a scoop out for you. And you wanna get through that bottom crust. Look at that, delicious. All right, we're gonna give it a try. I'm blowing it off because it's hot. <laughs> it's delicious. This is so good, y'all. It's one of our family favorites, ain't it, Amy? Yes, it's absolutely delicious. It's All one right. of my favorites. Yes. So we hope you've enjoyed watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. And I hope you enjoyed watching Amy cook today. It's so nice to have her here in the summer. See you next time. Love ya. Cooking time, it's over now. Tammy, she just showed you how to cook it up like Mama used to do. So go on.